What are we doing, Logan? We are continually opening boxes. <laughs> we are opening more boxes. We've actually, if you haven't already seen, uh, check out our Backcountry Life channel where we've opened a bunch of boxes. This is Soli Ryobi, so we've got tools and some more tools and tools <laughs> we don't need. But that's the whole point of this channel is to buy tools that maybe you would never buy, but you're interested in, or you're gonna buy, but you want us to open it and check it out first. We appreciate you guys' support. Thank you so much. Obviously, this is our Christmas for the Ryobi channel. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, and we're, we're going to. Do we're doing boxes. a little bit different today. We are going to be long form edition. We're going to open everything, everything up. You want. We'll have links in the description to everything. We'll have uh, links down below where you can jump ahead through the YouTube play bar, uh, all that good stuff. Also, we'll try and bring out individual videos of each one of these or make snippets so you can jump ahead to those uh, as well. But let's get started. Maybe we start with the ones that we've already opened from the boxes, but uh, aren't all the way open. So go ahead right. and grab, uh, grab one there and let's, let's see what we got. So first up, uh, this we is got? an 18 volt compact glue gun. So this is the... Rio BP 306. So who doesn't need a good glue gun? To be honest with you, I never use a glue gun, but my my 15-year-old uh, daughter loves the glue gun. My, uses my Rio B <laughs> glue gun nonstop. And actually my heat gun. <laughs> and the heat gun. <laughs> yeah. So while he's doing that, I'm gonna open up the hobby hand toolkit. So some of these you've actually probably seen on our channel before. One is this little mini screwdrivers. You've got the tweezers, which I thought was just hilarious that we have tweezers, but there they are. Uh, they also have this little box cutting uh, knife uh, or craft knife rather, not box cutting. And then really cool at the very back is a bag. So they've got this Ryobi craft bag. So Man, these boxes. These the packaging. Packaging is like I'm telling you you need that you, you need the opener. We do need the opener. What did we do? As many, that? it's over there somewhere. Oh, okay. The goal is to see who can open theirs first, and I gave him that one on purpose. He did. Now I'm like getting angry. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> I got, I got, I got worried there for a second because they double packaged this. You're like, I have to tear open. I'm gonna have to start tearing ah. stuff open. I'm not, I'm not strong enough to get this out. That's great. Okay. Start. So check that out. Uh, we did a video recently on all the Ryobi bags. Well, this one is a Ryobi pouch. So it's got like this heavy duty zipper. Oh, cool. It's kind of a nice so need the smaller pouch bag. So yeah, so you can take there. these uh, screwdrivers and you got your little hobby knife, your tweezers. And the extra is there. Well, that didn't go how I thought it would. Hey, but durability. Durability, guys. Check that out. A little Good nice uh, has heating even element. Yeah, the little drip tray. Drip tray. So, so I think that's it has an on-off button. We'll grab a battery here. Battery, yeah. We've got plenty that we're going to be plugging in here. So we'll grab some batteries. So that's what it's going to look like. That's, that's pretty slick, pretty, pretty slick. compact. The, the best part about this is for like Ooh, the little kids. Yeah, for the little kids, the, the handle. Now that's, that's almost too small for- it's too small for us. For, for adults. But I mean. But, but I don't know. Oh, this trigger's pretty good. It's not terrible. Nice. Nice how compact that is. Okay. On off switch. So I think it uses, yeah, so it has the on off, the this is basically plugs in as the heating element for the battery and heats it, so. Clever. All right, what else? Okay, we got, oh yeah, yeah. Super excited for this. <laughs> Look at this. At first I thought he bought us matching uh, hammers. Ryobi hammers. I couldn't let him have a bigger hammer than me. <laughs> so, do I have the bigger one? Nope. nope. <laughs> that's the 20. So that's the 20 ounce. Yep, so I got the 20. Now, a uh, couple of really cool things. One is, it, it feels pretty good in the handle, or the hand, rather. These are um, fiberglass 
hammers. So they got a fiberglass shaft. Um, they are straight. Um, I don't know what they call this. I'm not. I'm not a. I've, I've done a lot with uh, building, but I'm not as good as I probably could be or should be. Um, it's more straight than uh, curved. I'm, which you know. So if you're taking the nails out, but on top, actually, my favorite thing about this. See what that is on top there? It's a, ma it's a magnet. It's a magnet to hold your hand, your nail, so you can put, you can do your first set. So you set the the nail in there, pop it, and then can drive it all the way. So. And I've tried that with some other framing hammers I've had, and I can't do it very well. But with the mag, with the magnet Even with on the top. with the magnet on top, I'm just not that. Not that talented. Not that talented. And honestly, we use screws for most things instead of nails. Yeah, we don't use. I did use a hammer for three and a half hours the other day, though. Three and a half? Oh, yeah, you did. <laughs> One of our snowmobiles, I totally, the entire track uh, skid area was solid ice. And so I couldn't move it and I had to chip it out with a hammer and a claw. Now we have, before we get too much further, I might run out to the truck because we've got more in the truck. Now, one of the things it says on almost every single tool right there, do not use the tool without safety glasses. Well, what did we get? We got safety glasses. And they've been in the, the truck in 10 degrees. <laughs> so, so we got the cold. Two colors. Oh, hey, look at that. We actually picked the opposite ones. We got clear. What are they rated for? So, <laughs> impact resistant, flexible nose piece, anti-fog lens, ultraviolet protection. So these are the clear flex safety glasses, the RHPP SG01. And because we always work side by side, we had to get one of each, one of each for each of us. So. so when we're outside in the sun, we got the Nice. The dark yeah. ones. The dark ones. They actually they, fit pretty good. They fit okay. For like safety yeah. glasses. That safety glasses. I'm, I'm used to little shop ones that like wrap around half your face and, yeah, and then you like slide off your and nose. They're super and super scratch because everyone's like dropped them. And yeah. Sweet. So there they are. Yeah, they're not, not terrible. These dark ones, these are dark. I, well, like the tinted ones. I can, yeah. The cool thing is, is. Oh, these, these are like nothing. You, yeah, and you can't see, you can barely see the, I can only barely see yeah. the top frame, which I like. I don't want to be like, feel like I'm wearing, you know, goggles the whole time. Yeah, look at that. They, so they're actually disconnected from the, the see that from the glass. The so. safety glasses, the best safety glasses are the ones you'll wear. Yep. Like, I mean, let's just be honest. Like, if you don't, if you don't have a pair of glasses and, and you, or if you have a bunch of pair of glasses and they're expensive and you never wear them, then it's not gonna do your eyes any good. Do you no good. Look how dark That's those not are. Bad. Those are pretty dark. Dude, they actually look good. They're not bad. They, they actually look pretty good. Should we try it out with the nail gun? <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. Don't try this at home. Don't try this at home. All right. Next up, we got you got more boxes. Oh my gosh. What is this? I have we I thought we had this. We might have it. Did we get an extra one? We have two of them. So this one is the PBL IW01B. It's a half inch, which we already have, I thought. No, 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 no. We have the 600 pound, this is the 1200 pound. <laughs> this one's a big boy. Okay, so this is the Ryobi OnePlus HP brushless. Four mode, half inch, high torque, impact wrench with 1,170 foot pounds of breakaway torque. This is the big daddy. We, uh, you, we've actually been using these impact wrenches for the last couple weeks, like weekly. We've been using them a ton. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oops. Oh my goodness. That it no, Jeez. so it is the that that is the the big one. That's the big one. Holy cow, it's heavier than it's heavy. And it has the three modes, the auto, one, two, and three in auto. So yeah, one we'll give you real quick. We won't do this on everything, but uh, like 
You know, like on, you can feel like a wrist breaker. That feels like a wrist breaker. Yeah, you got uh, zero to 2800 IPM. You got, oh, so mode one is up to 900 RPMs, uh, 100 or 1400, 2100, and then auto. It goes, that's cool. Yeah, the auto. So mode three is actually the most at 2100. That's Auto is limited. Beastly. <laughs> All right. Next up. Now we've got the Ryobi One Plus 18 volt 3 8 inch crown stapler. So. Which is nice. Super cool. They actually also have um, a regular stapler that I was trying out at the Home Depot the other day. That's actually really nice. Oh, really? Yeah, it's like just a, a normal like uh, not a battery powered stapler. And it was actually, oh, belt clip. And so this is the uh, P317. Man, that actually is pretty cool. It's like the inner kit comes out when it's like got a handle like this. Anything that's got a handle and a belt it's clip. like, I mean, let's just be honest. It's like that, and it does, that actually feels really good in your hand. Feel that. All right. Let's see that. Pretty well balanced. Dude, oh, I like that. So I always worry that these big ones, they won't sit. Let's see, it's going to be this balanced, side. Dude. Yep. So belt clip. Press and drive. Put the instructions over here that we read every time. Every time. Come on, baby, get in there. We got a lot more real B stuff than, I don't, I don't know. Logan did it again to me is all of a sudden, like some of this stuff I, I knew because they were, we bought, we bought them from a while ago, but I had boxes being shipped. The UPS and the FedEx guy probably hates me. There we go. Nice. So these are the staples here, which is perfect for all sorts of little things. Little stuff. Yeah. Like, for example, my wife's way into Halloween, and so she's always wanting me to put up like Halloween stuff and we were doing all this she put this black plastic down in our basement and this poof, perfect to be able to you have to reach and you're not trying to slam it into my you know into my uh, joist floor, up there. floor yeah. joists so just in like that bam bam thank you ma'am <laughs> that's always fun so this one I don't know. I mean, we, we are doing a bunch of light stuff with uh, um, our truck build. So again, if you haven't seen our Backcountry Life channel, make sure to head over there and check out our truck build. Um, we are doing a lot of light stuff, but otherwise, I don't do a lot of soldering. And everybody wanted me to pick up this soldering kit um, and wanted us to try it out. But... Uh, I don't have anything to solder. Maybe uh, one of our boys will uh, need something to soldering class, uh, or uh, your yeah. daughter. <laughs> yeah, she'll, <laughs> probably, she'll probably need it before anybody the, else. Yeah, metal. So we're just trying to keep her with the glue gun stuff. Now, one thing that's cool about this one is it is a hybrid. It's got the, the plug and then also battery. But I've also seen um, a couple of people complaining about this one because two things. One, this cable for a, for a soldering iron is plastic, Ooh, legit yeah. plastic, which is not what you want around a hot metal object. You could just easily burn this. And because it's not flexible, I mean, it's, it's cold in here. This doesn't seem very flexible. So you're, it doesn't, yeah, you're having to constantly manage the, the cable. Yeah, so not ideal, but Anyway, that's uh, it does come with like your uh, dabbing cloth and it's got a little bit of solder. Yeah, um, you have, it goes up to 900 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 482 Celsius. Lowest settings, 400 Fahrenheit or 204 Celsius. And basically has a dial here to go higher or lower, so. So anyway, and it's got a little little holder there. So pretty sweet. I'll put pretty it on sweet. your side. Again, not sure if we'll ever get around to even using that because I don't know what to use it on just yet. But there it is. All right, what else? We're going to run out of room real quick, I have a feeling. Okay. Uh, would you think? 
how is all of this gonna fit? Let's go, uh, yeah, we'll go with this box first. Okay. I don't know when this was supposed to come, but I don't know what it is. I, it says I actually Depot. don't know. Yeah, it says Home Depot. I, I don't know what's in this one. I still don't know. Oh, I know. All right. We got a couple things. I'm gonna give Sam all the little stuff. Oh, sweet. Dude, I've been wanting one of these. So, so this is perfect to keep in our gear bag for snowboarding. Yep. And also for just having a ratchet. It's a ratchet too, right? Uh-huh. Yep. It's a it's ratchet. It's a multi-bit ratchet handle. with It has a magnet tip. Oh, I love that. Isn't that nice? So we got two of those. Because we need them. Oh my gosh. How many clips are on this sucker? Then, going along with all this crafting stuff that we got, this is a magnifying craft light that with a clamp. Huh. Let's check this out. So we can clamp to the side of the table here like that. Magnify. You know what I'm really gonna use that for, right? Is we're gonna try to start a fire. With start a fire. Did that. you see? Did you see it already? Look at this. Like that, and I'm saying, dude, like on the with the sun. Look at that. Like that's a pretty good magnet. But there's a there's a little clamp light. Now that this, I don't know about that. That's that's bright though. Yeah. It's good and bright. It's got two settings, maybe three. One, two. So three settings: high, medium, and off. Okay. Do these fit in here? Is that what these do? Probably. And then last out of that box of the small stuff is actually, we could have used this the other day. It is a hinge pin remover for your doors and windows. So it's a little uh, square thing to remove your hinge pins without um, a sharper knife is what I need. So what is that? It's a hinge. Uh, so it's the Ryobi hinge pin remover and installer. The A99HPR1. Oh, I was, forgot to say. Got that, that one. What did you get there? HSDM1101. 101. So check this out. So what you do is you grab your hammer and you go to your door hinge like this and you hold it up in there and then you just tap up this and it takes the pin up nice and safe and smooth and whatever. So another fun little accessory there. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember what this one was either. What did we get? This was the, uh, the light. This was the PCL 664B. So it doesn't work unless it's clamped. Yeah, you kind of, it's, it is, it does swivel though. Swivel. So it swivels there. All right. All right, what do you got there? What's this? I don't know. I can't see it. <laughs> I see green. I see green. There's two of them. Nope, it's one. green. <gasps> Ooh, this is. This is to replace what you already, what you just lost. I just stole one of these from you to, to put up with the cabin, so I had to give you one back. What? What's different with this one? So this one's completely redesigned. So this is the. 18 volt one plus uh, six port fast charger. So this supposedly is the fast charger. Now it does um, the two amp hour battery in 30 minutes, the four amp in 60 minutes, and the six amp high performance in 80 minutes, which- Do I have any six amp high performance? You should, yeah, cause you got six and nines. I think you have some six and nines, but that means the nines are gonna be like, over 90 minutes. Anyway, this is the PCG006. Um, and the other redesign they did, it does have one USB like like all the previous or the last previous one. 
um, that so we've reviewed before. To something else. Yeah, so you can you can plug in a USB as well. Um, one of the biggest redesigns, though, is they actually kind of made it uh, more compact and less of an angle. So the previous one kind of, so they've they've slowly gone to this upright mode. The first one that we have goes down. The you you port the the batteries down. The second one was kind of at an angle, and now these ones are straight uh, straight upright. But pretty cool. It's got uh, your charge indicators on the top. Again, six batteries. They do them one at a time, which sucks. I hate that they do them one at a time. I wish- At least do two at a time. Yeah, uh, at least side, two would but... be nice. And then uh, additional USB, so if you need to plug in your phone uh, there. Pretty I'll cool. Check that out. So. Sweet. There it is. Go on that one. Uh, I'm gonna go, yeah, I'm gonna go- Go that one. What is that one? This one is the Ryobi uh, 18 volt LED clamp light. This is the PCL663K1N. And I don't know how to open it. Uh, on the front, on the side. <laughs> so you might be saying, Logan, you already have a clamp light magnifier, and you'd be right. This is just a clamp light. And it came with the compact battery. Dude, that's actually pretty cool because this is another light. Another light. We really like our lights. And it came with a 1.5 uh, amp battery and the baby charger. Which we don't use. The little mini charger. Where's the button to turn it on? Oh, on top. Just on and off? That battery's dead. Okay. So. One, two, two off. So, so just two and off. Bright, not so bright, off. And off. But it swivels, it yeah, clamps. It so they've, they've got really gone into this swivel, clamp stuff, which is cool. It does it. So what do we have that clamps now? We've got the light, we've got the magnifier, we've got the fan. Yep. I want to say there's something else. That's pretty cool. All right, two more before we get into the big boxes. And we are <laughs> gonna be out of room. All right. All right, what's in this one? Oh, I know what's in mine. I don't know what's in mine. You, you're waiting. I'm waiting. Oh, there's a reason why you're waiting. Let's see what's in yours. Oh, yeah! Forgot about that one. Another clamp. Another I forgot clamp about this one. This one's the, with the snake head on it. Flexible LED clamp. You got three of those suckers. Yeah, I'm not sure that I'm super thrilled by the quality of these. It's almost like they're too long. Like this is yeah. too long, this flexibleness of it. But if you got it just right and clamped it just right, I could see it being pretty good. Oh, you do that, good. what they did is... Yeah, or yeah, put it in a circle. So this Definitely is the 18 volt flexible LED clamp light, it's 400 lumens. So the part number on this one is PCL66. By Ooh. high low goes up to uh, it goes from 400 to 200 lumens. So interesting. Clamp. All that fun check, stuff. Check this out. So it actually has. So it's got its thing. It swivels. All that good stuff, right? And you got your light, but you also have a focus. That's cool. That's interesting. So you can go Wide. closer, further away. Isn't that cool? That's pretty bright. Okay, and the last before we get into the big boxes. <laughs> what are these? More of these go bags. So yeah. we were talking about these. They are zip water resistant, zipper heavy duty, uh, 1680D material pouches. Nice, so these are awesome. We can put all sorts of stuff in these. We can put camera stuff, we can put 
Nunchucks. Nunchucks. Aren't those little cool little pouches? Keep. Snacks. Yeah, those are really cool. So, yeah, I got a bunch of them. They actually I think. have the expand here. Mm-hmm. So. I think we fit a bunch of good gear in there. All right. Well, now, now we're gonna move to the uh, the bonus round, the the big stuff. We're, um, we're fighting the boss right now. Yeah. So. Uh, oh wait, there's. Oh, these are fake boxes. <laughs> okay, so these boxes came all the way from Florida. All right, so I'm gonna take a second. I'm actually gonna move all of this stuff off so we can get into the bigger boxes. And as soon as Sam gets back, we're going to uh, open up the big ones. Over 70 pounds, high value item. Let's see what's inside. Lots Bunch of, of packing material. Packing material and a safeguard piece of cardboard. That's a piece of cardboard. Holy crap. So again, this came uh, all the way from the sunny state of Florida. Holy shnikes. Oh my gosh. Did they put it all in one big massive bag? Yep, they did. Now we can't get them out. I did not pack this. Well, so. Matt's off road. We can't get them out. Everything yeah. in one. Hey. Well, we got a lot of trash there now. So what do we have here? Some link wall system. Holy crud. So tear these open. So if you haven't already seen all of our link videos, go check out our link videos because in one of them, I do a wall install in my garage. Ooh. And since I sold my house recently and moved, instead of leaving them all there, I wrapped them all up. Holy cow. So how many do we have? I, I, don't, I don't think I counted four. them. Four. So they're, yeah, they're in they're stacks in of four. Of four. So four, eight, 12. Oh, 16. Uh, 20. 24. I think there's four in here. No, there's two in here. 24, so that's 28. Holy crud. So... We're gonna take the rest of Sam's garage. The whole thing is gonna be link. It's gonna be link. Ah, it's sweet. So there's that. Now, to complement all of that, you can't have wall rails without. Holy crud. Oh my gosh, they did the same thing to these ones. Did you pack these? No, they did. Our good friends at Upus. So in addition to uh, the rails themselves, you got to have the shelves. We, we got three. So there's one oh, there's two of with the tool rack. tool rack, two with the tool rack, one with the hooks. Which I don't have. You don't even have those yet. Yeah. So there's a hook. 
And here's the hook. The hooks kind of suck, but the shelves are great. We don't in use my the opinion. And I bet you can guess what's else? What's in box number three? Because link wall rails need more than just. Put in a huge sack too. What are they thinking? Holy crud. Okay, well, good luck. Ready? Uh. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Holy cow. Yeah. All them hooks. Hook after hook after hook. Check that out. Holy cow. Hey, look at that. I wonder where that went. Forgot I put that in there. There's that one. Oh, hey, look at that. Here's the uh, large glue gun. Oh, nice. Here's the uh, wall Evercharge kit for the vacuum. Got the one plus mini sawzall. Mini sawzall, one handed sawzall. And actually, what I'm most excited about is actually this bag. So this is the new, what is this one? The STS605 13 inch tool tote, 1680D material. If you've seen our other bag video, this is the only one, one of the only ones we don't have um, is this, uh, the hand tote. So we got the big version. Now we got the small version. And I freaking love it. I use it all the time. It's, it's, awesome. it's the best, the best one by far. Uh, the only other thing that's down in the middle of all this that I can't even really get out, we'll get out the tools, is this one here that's going to be all tied up in all these hooks. And it is the bucket light. So again, we've done video on this one previously, but uh, it's got three lights, kind of wraps around the bucket. It's, ever, or it's uh, hybrid, so you can do battery or, or wall charger. But otherwise, guys, all the hooks here um, we could ever ask for. We could ever ask for. So stay tuned to the channel because we've got tons and tons more to come. Make sure to look at the links in the description to all the different parts and pieces. Uh, go check out our Backcountry Life channel. We got all that stuff yeah. there. Yeah, and if, guys, let us know what Ryobi tools you're getting for Christmas. We appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much. Really helps us out. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.